Welcome to Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the what you see is what you get cutting mode, otherwise known as WYSIWYG. To do this, I set up a special template to help you better visualize where things should cut. And what you see what is what you get is basically means that the item that you want to cut will cut absolute value to where you have it positioned on the mat assuming that you set your origin in the correct position. And so to do this, what I've done is I've set up a test mat on my screen for a sheet of paper that's four and a half inches wide and 12 inches long. I did this in portrait mode, which is very important for WYSIWYG. Okay, I put my two inch ribbon here, and then I set up this arrow at the bottom of the page. This is to show you where to set the origin on your paper so that you better understand where things are going to output. This triangle here is the part of the mat that goes into the machine first. It gets fed into the machine all the way through the machine until you set the origin right here on this bottom corner. And that's how you load this into the machine. And I'll show you that part here in just a minute. So with everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and go to cut project width and then go to my click and cut zing machine. Once here, I would go ahead and set my speed, setting my cut speed and my up speed set my force, set whether or not I want multi-cut, change my blade offset if necessary, and then I want to go ahead and change my cut type to WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Okay, now that all my settings are set up, I'm showing you here my camera shot of my machine at the same time, and we're going to now go into the set blade origin, and we're going to move our blade over appropriately. The first thing I want you to notice is that there is a small laser light here pointing and it's off a little bit from where the blade is over here and you can see the light when you go into your cut panel. You want to make sure that that light is what is on the very corner of your piece of paper. I have currently have loaded a 12 inch by four and a half sheet of Pescada paper and I want to go ahead and set my origin right here on the bottom of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stepper over. If I want to move faster, again, I can raise that up and then I can move at a larger increment. Okay, now you can see a little bit better that um, laser light. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, you can see that light right there. I want that light to be on the very tippy corner of my paper, and that is a technical term that I use, the tippy corner. So let's go back and adjust that just a little bit further. I'm going to change my steps down to small steps here. And there you go, that laser is now pretty much at the very corner of that paper. The more precise you get at putting that laser in the corner, the more precise it's going to cut in absolute value to your page. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and click Finish. And then I'm going to go ahead and send this out to my machine for cutting. You can see that it's cutting that corner arrow out right where I set that blade origin. And then it moves over to the top half of that 12 inch paper and it's cutting my ribbon about one inch down and approximately halfway onto that page. Okay, and that's it for cutting the ribbon. And let me pull this out of the machine and we'll take a look at how it cuts. Okay, now that it's done cutting and I pulled it out of my machine, I want to go ahead and line this up exactly where you're seeing this on the mat. So bear with me here. Um, this is the bottom of my mat. And so this would be this point right here. If I were looking at my machine, this is where I set my origin. So if I were looking at my machine, this is where my blade position is starting and I'm going to set my origin over here. And when I cut this, you'll notice that I intentionally cut it several inches over. I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you that the what you see is what you get is based on this laser position and not the origin position where the blade originally sits when you turn your machine on. 
Okay, so I went ahead and loaded my machine. This is the top of my mat. It loads into the machine first. As I load it into the machine, it loads all the way through until my blade is over here on the corner of the mat. When I go to the set position, I move that laser light all the way over and I set it right there. And that's where it cut this first arrow. So if you're looking on your screen, this is the arrow right here that it cut right next to my origin. And then it moved all the way up to this position where it cut the ribbon. And I'll go ahead and pull that out and show you my cut ribbon. Okay, so it cut this ribbon approximately one inch down from the top here and um, approximately halfway in the page. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. And again, the key to using what you see, what you get mode is to use your laser light when you're setting your origin, not your blade tip. Thank you for watching Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. You can find more tutorials like this at our website, paperthreadsblog.com.